hanging out over here at the Dexter booth with our friend Dan. How you doing? Oh, you got a knife right I got, hey, be careful. <laughs> it's got a guard on it, though. <laughs> got to be careful with that, especially with a Dexter blade. Now, Dan, I've been talking to you a lot over the internet, and we're talking about how much I love the traditional right. carbon steel blade. One of your oldest knives, basically, or the oldest knife? Yeah, I mean, we've, uh, well, Dexter's been around, as you know, 200 years this mm -hmm. year. Uh, those beechwood carbon steel knives actually came out about 1930, 31. Mm -hmm. And then now, presently, we have the your cut, which is a moldable handle. And basically, you will take this, boil it in hot water for two minutes, dip it in cold water for 10 seconds, and then you mold it right to your grip. Okay. And you can see the indentations. And what we also have is now we're giving it with the sheath. Okay. So it's available at, with the sheath. Um, quite honestly, we have the Sandy Safe line, the Soft Grip line. We now also have coated blades for the saltwater corrosion resistance. Okay. And we got the Velo. So we have a whole different uh, bunch of lines of handles, and it's more of a preference deal at this point. Mm -hmm. Your carbon steels, they rust, they get black patina. Yeah. but they hold an edge right and you're the type of guy i've seen you show i've seen what you do you take care of your knives it's absolutely fine. you know as long as you take care of your knives a little bit of mineral oil a yep. little bit of fine steel wool done the difference is and we get this question every day joey is the deck steel the major difference carbon steel deck steel proprietary but it's in the flex of the blade so the carbon steel cannot flex as much, I mean, the, excuse me, the deck steel right. flexes more than the carbon steel, I should have said. So when you get in behind the head, you go up along the backbone, that comes into play. Okay, so you're gonna get more flexibility out of this blade right. versus right. the traditional right. carbon steel. Okay. Yep. And on this one, you see in the black coat, that's like a finish basically for the salt water anglers. Powder coating for the salt water corrosion resistance, absolutely. And again, this has a little bit of a, kind of a little bit of a fitted grip as well, as you can right. see on that one. Yep. That's the soft grip right there. I wanted to like, I wanted to ask you a question. You were talking about the uh, the edge on this blade. This is going to hold an edge longer. Right. Okay. And what about sharpening? Is it easier to sharpen than the standard or harder to sharpen? No. We recommend the diamond stick for sharpening on all of our blades. It's not so much that it's easier, but because it is carbon steel, the teeth don't fold over as much in the process of cleaning a fish. Okay. So it will retain a little bit longer. How much longer? I mean, this could sure. be this could be 30 fish, and this could be 25. Gotcha. And, you okay. know. So this will hold the edge a little longer. Slightly. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That was one of the questions I wasn't sure of. Yep. Awesome. And as a, like you talked about the uh, the diamond stick, we have a diamond stick here. Yes, sir. Put this one back. You might have to get the hook and everything. <laughs> so let's talk about sharpening the blade yep. for people I don't know. Here's your diamond stick. I mean, it's it's in the package. I really can't right. show, but. Yep. You're taking your blade. Let's, let me just use this one for yeah, a second. Yeah, I'll put this down. Hold on. Let me put that back on. So I'll take the I'll take this uh, sheath right here out. Okay. I won't take this out of the packaging, but the rule of thumb is you put that against the stick from butt to tip, okay? Right. And you're basically creating a 90 or you're pulling it about a quarter inch off. And then you just watch my wrist. You're coming down the diamond stick a couple of times in the front, mm -hmm. right? Then you go into the back, same thing. Quarter inch, create that 90, and you're going butt to tip, butt, butt to tip, tip right. butt to tip. Okay. The biggest thing that we see is a lot of guys, they they really demolish the diamond stick because they're just trying to like grind it and get right. that edge. You don't need to. Well, let this do I the work. Noticed. You will feel it grip the steel. Yeah, let you this feel do the it, work. You catch it and you just, you can feel yep. that resistance in it. Yeah, so that's one thing that we get a lot. They say, well, the diamond stick, you know, I can't seem to hold an edge or mm -hmm. get a good edge. It's actually because, you know, they're putting too much pressure sure. on it. You know, just let it glide. It's just a natural, like, boom. And so it's hit a few times, hit a few times. Yeah. You let this. naturally all that material comes yeah. up. You'll actually see it. I mean, you could take it. You take a rag right. and wipe it. You'll see all that material yep. that was pulled off. Absolutely. Yep. And that's what that's what we have. And this your cut is really taking the market by storm right now. Um, to touch on the sharpening, if you hold these for one second, sure. I'll go over the, uh, the proprietary deck steel. So... Okay. Here's what happens when you're sharpening, okay? On the deck steel, you're cutting 30 fish, right? You're going through them, you're going through them, you're going through them. As you're working, there's teeth on the blade, on the steel, mm -hmm. and it's called feathering. So I'll use my fingers to demonstrate they're kind of folding over, okay. right? Microscopic, but they're folding over. So the knife is getting duller, sure. okay? 
when you put it on that diamond stick, it stands the teeth up again, razor sharp. Yeah, gotcha, sure. So you're basically restoring the blade to its original you know, sharpness right. out of the box simply by putting it on that stick. Okay. And then you clean a bunch of fish and that feathering, it's called feathering, that mm -hmm. process will happen and they'll fold over. So a guy will be like, oh, my knife's dull. Well, when's the last time you sharpened it? <laughs> Put it on the stick, now it's razor sharp again. And really, that's what we're known for. You know, mm -hmm. Dexter the Edge, uh, compared to all of the other knives out there, and it's America, it's your choice, but we're known for being able to clean a ton of fish and for having that edge, the ultimate edge. Hey, every party boat you go on, what's on the boat? Dexter, Dexter Blade, so. Yeah. That's it, a yep. post in the, uh, the pudding right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Dan, thank you so much. It's always Thanks, a pleasure. Sir. Absolutely. Looking forward to trying these out this year. We'll get you some great videos of filleting. And That's how about it. you come up this year to us, and, or down, because you're coming from up north, and come fish yeah. with us. Oh, I'll come down to fish with we'll you. Do no it. problem there. Captain Joey Leggio. <laughs> thank you so much. You got it.